Welcome back to three months of Modal Logic, the sequel to the 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing October's focus on deontic logic, looking at the accessibility relation. This is going to be a very similar relation to the acceptability relation, but it's going to apply more to reductionist semantics than to the semantics of standard deontic logic. Let's take a look. So the accessibility relation is for all i and all j, where i and j are possible worlds, j is accessible to i if and only if for all propositions p, if p is true in i, that implies that it's possible that p in j. Where, as we said, i and j are worlds, p is a proposition, and x, w means x is true in a given world, w. We're going to call this definition the modal accessibility definition. In other words, for all worlds i and j, j is accessible to i if and only if for all propositions p, if p is true in i, p is possible in j. Now, you might be saying, wait, this is a little bit confusing. I didn't understand any way that the laws of logic could be different in different possible worlds, so I don't know how different worlds can be possible given some other world. Well, it depends on how you construe modality. Think of it like this. If we construe modality as gnomic modality or kind of scientific modality, what we're saying is we're only considering the set of possible worlds who have the same laws of physics as we do. Worlds that have a different law of physics than we do are not being even considered in possible worlds there. So if we're construing modality as gnomic modality, then there may be a smaller set of possible worlds that such that if something was true here, it could be possible in some other world. But if we construe it as logical modality, generally under most conceptions, the number of accessible worlds is going to be all worlds. See the video on modality, on what is modality, for more information. Now, just as we had AI to represent all of the worlds that were accessible, acceptable to I rather, ARI is going to represent all the worlds that are accessible to I. It's ARI is representing just a set of worlds. As noted, this may be all possible worlds depending on how we construe possibility and how most alethic modalities and modal logics we've been looking at are construing it, it's going to be along the lines of logical modality, not knowing modality. Up next, we're going to be looking at the semantics of reductionist deontic logic. All right, we're going to be using the accessibility relationship and we're going to understand some of the semantics of reductionist deontic logic. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org. Stay tuned for just a few more videos on deontic logic here in this month. Next month, we're starting on temporal logic and doxastic logic after that. Stay skeptical, everybody.